Look closely. That jihadist behind the veil is a mother of two. Her name used to be Sally Jones, but after she converted to Islam, she reportedly changed it to Sakina Hussein. This photo with the AK-47 is a far cry from this one from 2004, published in the Daily Mail. It shows her celebrating the birth of her new baby. Now she's believed to be an ISIS fighter in Syria. She moved there from the UK after meeting a hacker turned militant online. She told the London Times that her youngest child is with her too and that he's taken the Muslim name Hamza. She was widely quoted online saying, my son and I love life with the beheaders. This jihadist is also from Britain. She's reportedly a 21-year-old medical student who goes by the name Mujahida bint Usama. On Twitter, she posted this disturbing image, a woman in a white doctor's coat and black burqa holding a human head. The posting read, dream job, a terrorist doc, and included a smiley face and love hearts. In other postings, she reportedly praised Yemeni cleric Anwar al-Awlaki and shared images of the execution by ISIS of U.S. journalist Stephen Sotloff. In September, terror analysts estimated that as many as 15 percent of ISIS's foreign recruits could be female, with up to 200 women from at least 14 different countries. Experts say the women are motivated by the idea of meeting a jihadist husband. They're hoping for the prestige that comes with husbands who die as martyrs. Long before ISIS, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict also gave rise to female terrorists, including this grandmother. She tried to blow up Israeli soldiers in Gaza in 2006, but died after detonating explosives in her belt. Her family reportedly said she wanted to become a martyr. And what about this woman, Colleen LaRose, who goes by the name Jihad Jane after converting to Islam online? She traveled to Europe in 2009, part of a plot to shoot and kill Swedish artist Lars Vilks after he depicted the head of the Muslim prophet Muhammad on a dog. She was arrested after returning to Philadelphia. LaRose was sentenced last January to 10 years in prison. All women looking to make a name for themselves in martyrdom. And the list is growing. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.